Hello again. I am Ariel Orda, and together with my colleague Daniel Raz, it is a great pleasure for us to welcome you all to this second annual international conference of the Technion Computer Engineering Center, which is dedicated this year to the areas of networking, cloud, and beyond. And let me start by we start by briefly over, uh, overviewing the presence of these areas in the Technion and specifically within the TCE. In the area of core networking, we are quite a large group of faculty members in both departments, and here you can see the names and some of our uh, uh, subjects of uh, interest and activity. Going to the cloud and beyond brings with it a very large uh, number of faculty members within the TC, and what you see here is just a partial list working in, on many related areas such as parallel architectures, uh, parallel computation, distributed computing, distributed systems, of course cloud systems and computing, storage systems and many more. Now the history of networking in the Technion is about as old as the history of modern communication networking worldwide. And actually this year, in addition to uh, the reasons that Professor uh, Lavi mentioned, is a special year because Two of the very early members of the networking group in the Technion, namely Professors Rafi Rom and Adrian Segal, are about to retire. Another one of the very early members was the late Dr. Philip Merlin, who unfortunately died at the very, at the very young age of 32 back in 1979. And of course, much has changed since those early days. For example, I recall that over 25, actually almost 30 years ago, when I approached Rafi Rom and asked him for a potential topic for an MSc uh, thesis, he told me that he was involved in some project called the ARPANET going on back there in the United States. And specifically, Rafi mentioned that the ARPANET was in the process of being interconnected or inter-networked with other networks, and it turned out that that was a difficult and, 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 and painful process, and the gateways, that was the early, names, uh, the, the early name of routers, had to face many problems and challenges, and sometimes couldn't do any better than just drop part of the packet. So Rafi proposed to me that maybe we would like to think about something to be done in that respect. At about the same time, another guy, Moshe CD, was apparently the first to finish a PhD thesis in the Technion in the area of networking, and his uh, topic was that of packet radio networks. And at about the same time, another guy, Israel Sidon, was, I believe, the first networking student in the Technion to be admitted to the direct PhD track, and this topic was that of fail-safe communication with changing topology. So take the changing topologies from here and the packet radio networks from there, and you have it already back then, namely wireless ad hoc networks. And another hot topic at those times was that of ISDN, Integrated Services Data Networks. So even back then, it was observed that instead of having the traditional voice phone network, along with the, at that time, emerging data networks, it would be better to converge into one grand network. And of course, much of this is by now kind of water under the bridge, or as we say in Hebrew, Arbe Mein Zarmu Meaz Bayarden. And actually, many of the um, challenges and topics at that at uh, that time were in the hands of uh, the research world, of the academia, have by now passed to, to the industry. And of course, uh, communication networking infrastructure is present uh, uh, almost everywhere uh, today. So the question is, what are the current challenges of communication networking in terms of academia, in terms of research today? And actually, the number of challenges is certainly not uh, less than back in those years. For one, networking is a verb that you can apply recursively. You can network above, above the network. So after you have a well-established communication networking infrastructure, you can have, for example, over that peer-to-peer -peer networks, and this brings you back to square one, namely how to design, how to operate them, how to manage them, but now with a new twist, you have to take into account potentially the uh, underlying infrastructure of the existing communication network. Then, as the saying says, appetite comes with eating, or in Hebrew, im ochel ba teavon. So, for example, after uh, having deployed a communication network infrastructure that provides a base, basic best effort service, next we want sometimes to make this service to be also of quality. And quality of service networking is at large still an open problem. Likewise, after deploying 
a, a communication network infrastructure over wired links and uh, over a static topology and using strong computing devices so to serve as the routers and the switches and the servers and the end systems, we want to do the same and to be just as successful but over the much more problematic wireless medium and over a mobile changing ad hoc topology and using feeble handheld or other devices as the end systems and sometimes as the infrastructure itself. Success, and of course, communication networks are a big success, in particular the internet. Success creates challenges. Take, for example, clouds and data centers, a major topic of this conference. They wouldn't have come to the world had, had there been a, a, a widely deployed infrastructure of a, a communication network. But once they're on the table, they bring with them new challenges in many respects, including in respect of the communication network itself. So there's kind of a positive feedback mechanism here in the sense that success creates new opportunities and this fire back with new challenges. Success creates also kind of waves of success in the sense of trying to mimic the success, to take the, some of the insights, some of the basic ideas elsewhere. For example, after being able to deploy networks between computers and also between components inside of the computer, next one thinks of maybe we should design the very fabric, the atoms, the chips themselves using a networking methodology and that's the issue of network on chip. Likewise, after interconnecting virtually all computing devices, next we ask ourselves why don't we interconnect everything, including things that you could hardly call a, a computing devices in order to share not just data, but also even their very existence. And that's the a issue of internet on, of things. And then we uh, try to take some of the insights, some of what we learned about communication networks to do better, for example, in terms of, the, uh, of energy systems, of, uh, of power uh, provision, and that's the issue of smart grids, and likewise, in also to uh, better understand uh, other types of networks like biological networks and social networks. Alongside, there is a constantly growing toolkit in terms of the formal tools that we employ in order to better design, better understand communication networks. So for example, if, if we begin our way with the traditional tools from the uh, employed with, within the traditional phone network, like uh, stochastic processes, queuing systems, then uh, soon enough we understood that we needed the, at that time emerging tools of computer science, like the theory of algorithms, in particular distributed algorithms. And over time, we learned that sometimes we need to import tools from apparently far away lands, like game theory from economics, percolation theory from material science. And what shall, shall be the next tool to be admitted into the toolkit of com communication networks? Only time we, will tell. And a related, a related issue is that of network science. That's an emerging uh, 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 discipline that tries to, uh, tries to uh, come with a common understanding regarding all the structures that can be called networks, communications and uh, communication networks uh, uh, and other. And you might ask um, whether networks deserve a science of their own. So let me tell you what uh, a colleague of mine deep, deeply involved in network science told me about how he answers that question, and I'm quoting. You ask me what's network science? Well, I recall times in which people were asking, what's computer science? What's a computer? It's an apparatus, a machine. Have you heard about the washing machine science? Why should there be a computer science? And that, of course, by today, we understand that this is nonsense. Computer science is not just about some apparatus. There's a whole world of computers and computations and computability. But if there's a whole world of computers, there's a whole universe of networks. Networks extend between computers and inside the computer and between things that have nothing to do with computers. So, so said my colleague, what computer science is today is an underestimate of what network science shall one day be, end of quote. Will, by, will that be the case? I really don't know. Maybe the 100th TC conference in the Technion shall be jointly hosted by the Department of Computer Science and the Department of Electrical Engineering and the Department of Network Science. Actually, in the Technion, it should be the Department of Network, network Science and Engineering. But if at all, that would be only 98 years from now, and now the time has come to begin with this year a uh, program. As I'm sure you've already realized, we have a truly out outstanding list of invited speakers, some coming from very far away, and we are 
very grateful to, uh, uh, to them for coming here and joining us. Later today, we shall have a panel uh, uh, organized by Danny Raz and attended by, an, uh, uh, by a team of uh, leading experts in the area. And we shall also have a poster session. As you've seen, posters are already uh, on show. Tomorrow during lunchtime, we'll have our poster session in which uh, our graduate students will be there uh, uh, in order to address your, uh, your uh, questions and comments. And uh, through that session, through these posters, we try to bring to you some of the uh, work underway uh, within the framework, uh, the framework of the TCE. So please do take your time before lunch or while having your lunch or after that and enjoy the pro posters and interaction with students. And we, and we would like to thank Itzhak Eslasi for kindly organizing this. And indeed, finally, some words of thanks. Asaf has already mentioned our uh, kind sponsors from the industry and of course we are indebted for their generosity. And I would like to thank also the many uh, persons within the Technion the, uh, whose uh, time and energy made this event uh, possible. In particular, I would like to mention uh, Revi Genosar, Suzy Eid, Nelo Tarif, and very special thanks go to uh, the director of the TC, um, Ruth Bonnet, and to her assistant, Lilon Rigal, who for continuously thinking about and taking care of all the issues and details in which the devil is. And last but not least, thank you all for being with us. We hope that you will find this conference enjoyable and fruitful. Thank you. <laughs>